Hi, welcome to Flora Friday. I'm Jenny Martin, ethnobotanist, and today, yes, oh, we have a Bella Rose. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here. Okay, so Bella Rose is wanting to sit on what I wanted to look at. Okay, so. <laughs> right, this is what I wanted to look at. There are, I, it's not a plant, absolutely not a plant, a fungi. We had an incredible summer and this summer and my little Jenny hypothesis is that the mycelium underground, which is part of the fungi organism, has really struggled with the fact that it's been so dry and as a result they are putting up these fruiting bodies to try and reproduce. So quick fungi um, physiology. So there are many different types of fungi. Fungi are so important to life on earth that 90% of our plants we wouldn't have if it wasn't for fungi. So fungi are either saporific, which means that they help decompose organic matter, particularly wood. There's not much that decomposes wood. We have parasitic fungi which grow on, on trees. And, and what they will do is they will, as, as you imagine, if they're parasitic, they just take the nutrients from the tree. There are many important parasitic fungi that are used in Western medicine, particularly in cancer drugs. And then there are symbiotic fungi, of which this is one. And a symbiotic fungi is one that will take nutrients from the ground and give it to plants. So this is a birch, belit a birch belitus. And so this will be giving nutrients to birch trees, but probably others as well. So the mycelium, for those of you who aren't so familiar, are basically we don't have roots with fungi. The majority of the organism is underground and there are like thread-like matters that, that go through the ground, or grow up bark, bark of trees, they take nutrients from the ground and then they give them to the, to, to the, to the plants. So the organism can actually survive via the my, mycelium. When it's stressed, like most living organisms, they try and reproduce. And how they reproduce is through their spores. And so underneath here, We've got here, we've got a sponge type um, um, structure underneath where the spores are coming out. So when you're harvesting mushrooms, fungi, the most important thing is you can imagine, well, the SSE code, first thing, sustainability. And what I would ask of you is, well, with, is that really ask yourself, how am I gonna do this in a way that doesn't hurt the organism? Sustainability is when you're cutting your mushroom or fungi you cut the stipe don't pull it up if you pull it up you're disturbing the mycelium ideally don't pick mushrooms with the cap is literally quite tight that means that the spores haven't had a chance to flow out and um, do what they do that designed to do which is reproduce if you are cutting one or two once the caps open see if you can put them as you're carrying them out in the wood in a bag like this. So in a, in a bag that's got, with, with the fungi facing down, therefore as you're walking through the woods, if there are any spores left in the camp, they disperse. Safety surroundings, look at where you are, are, is it, is, are there any petrochemicals in the ground, any herbicides, any pesticides, uh, is there any dog poo? But of course, and foot fanning, which we we'll talk about as well with the SSE code. But of course, the fungi in particular, which maybe is number one, is certainty. Can you eat it? Is it toxic? As many of us know, there are some very toxic fungi in the woods, so and and in other in other habitats around the world. Please, please make sure that you've identified it correctly. If you're uncertain in any shape or form, leave it out. There are many brilliant books on how to identify fungi. If you really want to do it in a proper way that mycologists do, you have to actually pull the whole thing up. You have to actually look at the base because there are some details at the base of the fungi that will give you some key ID features as to what the mushroom is that you're, you, you're harvesting. You also need to look underneath and see, for instance, things like what's the stipe looking like, which is the stem-like structure here. Um, and Underneath you've got, are there gills, are there sponges, are there teeth, all sorts of things. And ideally you take the cap home and you lay it on a piece of paper, half black, half white, and you take a spore print so the spores will 
land on a piece of paper and you can tell whether um, the colours of the spore and the types of the spore ideally look through the microscope. So it's just a real taste of fungi. Um, so the sustainability is please, if you're certain it is what it is, it's safe, you absolutely can eat it. Cut it, don't pull it up. Carry it out in a, in a bag so that the spores continue. Um, and one, one absolute um, horror of mine is that I was out with somebody not that long ago who saw a slug on a death cap, which is, as you can imagine from the name, one of the most toxic fungus, if not the most poisonous fungus that we have. And they said, oh look, if the, if the slug's eating it, we should be able to eat it. If you see another animal eating a death cap or any mushroom, do not assume you can eat it, okay? Because a slug has a very different metabolism to us, very different biochemistry to us. So please do not eat a mushroom just because you see a slug on it and think it's okay. They are amazing. Please respect them. Please enjoy them. If you want to know more, I can publish, um, I can put out a few books that I use, that I love. Check out Paul Stamets. He's an incredible mycologist in the States. Q have a fantastic fungarium and some brilliant mycologists there. And Collins have an excellent field guide to mushrooms and fungi and how to identify them. So more importantly, eating them is just what they do for all the other organisms on the planet in helping plants grow and therefore providing life for, for everything else. So, so as you can tell, I'm fired up by fungi. <laughs> Enjoy. Please, if you go and see any this weekend, send pictures, post them in the comments bit below, and um, I'll see if I can post a few more about different fungi.